Hey everyone, welcome back to Rex TV. If you've been following the political developments in Zimbabwe, then you've probably heard about the recent comments made by Zambian President Hokandi Hichilema regarding last year's disputed elections in Zimbabwe. During the just-ended Southern African Development Community SADC Summit, President Hichilema made comments that could be perceived as an endorsement of the elections, which were heavily contested and marred by allegations of irregularities and political tension. And unsurprisingly, the ruling party in Zimbabwe, ZANU-PF, is gushing. Over President Hikalema's remarks, they see it as validation of their victory and a boost to their legitimacy. But beyond the outward celebration, it's essential to critically analyse the situation. President Hikalema's comments are undoubtedly significant, given the clout he carries as the leader of a neighbouring country and a prominent figure in the region. However, it's essential to remember that his words should not be seen as the final verdict on the matter. The controversy surrounding the Zimbabwean elections is deep-rooted and cannot be swept aside by one leader's comments. No matter how influential, it's also crucial to consider the broader perspective and the multitude of voices that have raised concerns about the electoral process in Zimbabwe. International observers, opposition parties and civil society organisations have all highlighted the need for reforms and transparency in the electoral system. In light of this, it's important to approach President Hikalema's comments with a critical mindset and to continue advocating for fair and credible elections in Zimbabwe. The focus should remain on addressing the underlying issues and working towards building a robust and inclusive democratic process. So, while ZANU-PF may be jubilant over President Hikalema's remarks, it's essential to maintain a balanced and informed stance on the matter. The road to a truly fair and democratic electoral system in Zimbabwe is still long and requires sustained efforts from all stakeholders. What are your thoughts on this development? Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on political developments in Africa.